news tonight. And good evening. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday. I'm Tom Yamas, and we begin with that threat on both sides of the country tonight. Fire in the west and icy weather in the east. The new threat from that California wildfire in a moment. But first, the south reeling from those record-breaking snowfalls that had Georgia drivers navigating unplowed roads. Down power lines from Mississippi to Maine, thousands of customers in the dark. Icy roads causing accidents. This SUV, you see it there in Massachusetts, ending up on its side. And take a look at the lake effect wide out in Buffalo. The Bills and the Colts nearly playing blind. And behind all of this, a big chill is now on the way for a huge stretch of the country. ABC senior meteorologist Rob Marciano starts us off. Tonight, more than 100 million Americans feeling the effects of this winter blast. Lake effect snow falling from Indiana to New York. Thunder snow startling West Seneca. Three miles south, this scene, the Bills Colts game. Snow falling up to two inches per hour, so thick at times you can barely see the field. Indiana drivers dealing with whiteout conditions. Slick roads causing hundreds of crashes in the Northeast this weekend. In Connecticut, a jackknife tractor trailer slowing traffic to a crawl. This driver careening in an icy pond outside Boston, swimming to safety through frigid waters. Tonight, the usually mild south still reeling. At the height of the winter storm, almost 300,000 without power. These streets popping all over, you never know when the going to pop me us. Crews now working to get everyone back online. So we want to get them warm, get the electricity back going. But one major school district outside Atlanta, still in the dark and closed Monday. And Rob joins us live now. Rob, after all the snow, a big chill now on the way? Yeah, we've got a big cold snap coming, Tom. And still the lake effect snows are going to continue tonight. So let's take a look at that. I-90 is going to be a, a dicey, especially south of Buffalo and north of Syracuse. We've got warnings out till uh, 7 a.m. tomorrow and up to uh, 20 inches in spots, if not more, is possible. And another clipper system coming through the Great Lakes uh, Tuesday, Wednesday is going to bring some of this cold air. Look at these numbers. These are afternoon wind chills. As cold, as warm as it's going to feel in Chicago, 8, 2 degrees in Green Bay, 8 degrees in Chicago and Detroit. And on Wednesday, similar numbers as it goes to the, some of the bigger cities from D.C see the Boston teens for afternoon wind chill high temperatures. That is the coldest air of the season. Tom? Five there in Buffalo where they had all that snow. All right, Rob, thank you. Next to the West, California's Thomas Fox.